Hello all. In this video, I am going to show you 7 segment display driver with shift registers. As you can see on the 7 segment displays, I am displaying 0, 1 and 2. So serially these numbers are displayed on all the displays. You can see here, I will blank all the displays. You can see here 0, 1 and 2. The same number is dis being shifted here. You can see 0, 1 and 2. So the third one is also displaying the same 0, 1 and 2. The fourth one is also displaying the same 0, 1 and 2. So what I am exactly doing, I am sending the data from here. From this side of the display I am sending. I have the shift registers here. I will show you in a better way. I have the shift registers here. I have the shift registers here. You can see here the shift registers are below. See the chips are there. You can see. So the shift registers are below. So I am sending from here the data. On this white pin from the Arduino, I am sending 0, 1 and 2. So this 1, 0, 1 and 2 are being sent serially through the shift registers. And finally, from the from each shift registers, I am displaying from each shift registers, I am displaying the displays here. You can see 0, you can see 0, 1 and 2. See, these are changing here. Okay. So, from the shift register outputs, directly these 7 segment displays are wired. Okay. So, like this, from the Arduino, I am giving serial data to the shift registers and it is being displayed on the Arduino Uno, on the 7 segment displays. So, here basically you can see from the Arduino Uno, I have two lines of commands. One is the uh, one is the your uh, data line and another is the clock line. Okay, so if you can see here, I will show you just uh, one minute. Yeah, from the Arduino Uno, see pin number 10 and pin number 11. One is the clock line and another is the data line. Okay, so the clock line and data line they are coming here on the breadboard. See, this is the data line and the clock line is coming here. This black black wire, this is the clock line. So, clock line is common actually. This clock line is used for all the shift registers. This clock is common for all the shift registers. And the data is being fed to the shift register. The output of the first shift register is being fed to the second shift register. So, I will I am going to show you in a diagram. It will be very clear now. So as you can see on this diagram, this is my shift register IC. This is CD4094. So I am using CD4094 as the shift register. So this shift register is going to trigger my 7 segment displays. So basically what I am doing here, I am using 7 segment displays as a display and I am using only 2 pins in the Arduino and from the 2 pins, serial in parallel out operation I am going to do. So I am finally displaying the digits from the shift register. So as you can see, this is my shift register, I am putting it here. The first pin of the shift register is the strobe pin. Okay. So you can, if you see the truth table of the shift register, I will show you the truth table of the shift register. So if you see the truth table of the shift register, see you can see here, from the window light is coming. So if you can see here, see if, if your strobe is not 0 and not 1 if your if your strobe is 0 or if your strobe is in don't care condition you will whatever data you give nothing is going to happen okay nothing is going to happen okay so your stro strobes must be 1 all the strobe pins must be 1 okay and the output enable pins must be 1 in order to uh, function the shift register okay for the shift register to function your strobe and output pins must be 1 so you can see the same thing here. You can see the same thing here. What I have done, I have connected the strobe pin to the supply plus VCC. So strobe pin must be connected to the supply plus VCC. Okay. The second pin is the data pin. The data pin is connected to the pin number 2. The pin number 3 is the clock. You can see the clock is looped with all the four shift registers. See, I am using four seven segment displays. Now, whatever number of displays you want to put, you have to connect all of them with the same clock signal. Okay, but there is a limitation because you, I am going to convert the serial data into parallel data. So, it will be slow. The display will be slow. 
that's why it is uh, recommended to have seven six to seven displays uh, as a standard and it will not not look nice if we add more displays theoretically it is possible but practically the transmission will be slow because the because based on the clock the, it will be like it will be like divided the number of outputs it will be divided with, with the clock frequency so that is different topic that one i will speak later so just to first we will learn this thing okay so now see pin number 3 is connected to the clock so pin number 4 5 6 7 these are the outputs okay so these outputs will be directly connected to the seven segment displays pin number 8 is the ground then pin number 9 is the qs qs is the output signal the, so whatever is the signal here on the shift register the last value it will be transmitted as a data to the second shift register just connect this pin number 9 to pin number 2 of the second shift register pin number 2 of the second shift register okay and pin number 3 will be connected to the clock okay so now 5 6 7 8 this will go to the seven segment displays the pins of the seven segment displays okay then pc this uh, pin number 15 is the output enable this will be connected to supply and the supply pin also will be connected to the supply so this is how we need to wire the shift register okay so now you can see here see q1 q2 q3 q4 this will go to the uh, this will go to a b c d e f g of the seven segment displays that i am going to show you now just a minute so as you can see the Q1 has to be connected to terminal A, Q2 to the B, Q3 to the C. So here Q1, if, if, if Q1 becomes high, this part of the LED has to glow. If Q2 becomes high, this part of the LED has to go, glow. So Q3 becoming high, this part of the LED has to glow. So Q4, this part will glow. So like that, the sequence will continue. So I will make a separate video, how to program the seven segment display. So for now, I am not going deep inside this topic. So like this, we have to just wire it. So as you can see here, so as you can see here, this is my seven segment display internal, internal wiring. So you have to connect this in the terminal A, you have to connect Q1 of the respective shift register. On the B, you have to connect Q2. On the C, you have to connect Q3, D, Q4, E, Q5. Okay, F is Q6, G is Q7. So like that, we have to connect, and the QS will be the whatever the MSB I am sending. The last bit it will be transferred here. So what? So like this, no, with this connection, the data is being transferred to the second uh, second shift register. So like this, basically what we are doing, we are feeding here serial data, and these data are connected and uh, converted into parallel data, 8-bit parallel data, 8-bit serial data in to 8-bit parallel data out and the whatever is giving uh, given the first first uh, first first uh, byte uh, first bit of the data sorry I'm sorry the first bit of the data will be transferred to QS and from QS it will be transferred to the to the shift second shift register pin number 2 so like this the last bit or the first bit whatever i am sending i am if i send msb the msb will be coming here if i send the lsb first lsb will be coming here so like this the data will be transferred from one shift register to another to the another shift register however you see here the clocks will be common okay the same clocks will be uh, same clock signal will be fed to all the shift registers and from the shift registers we will be having the seven segment displays so like this it will work so like this we can make a seven segment display driver with shift registers okay so this is the first part of the video in the second part of the video i am going to show you counter using arduino uno two wires i will use two pins of the arduino uno i will use for the display and one pin i will use for the counting pulse so i will make a counter in the second video so like this we can extend the number of pins in arduino this is an application of how to extend the output pins in an Arduino. So this is all for today. Thank you very much. Please watch the second part of this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I will show you the main video, the main board once more. Just see again the main board. See the main board again. Okay. So this is how this is the first part of the video. In the second part, I will show you this is this will be counting as a counter. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.